Okay. What the heck is going on? What's up, guys? Philip Collin, Pack Pythons. At it again. Another crazy mystery. I don't know. Anybody that ever tells you that there's a science to this crap is lying. They're all liars. Ugh. Hair up. Later clutch. Been waiting for the layer clutch. Thought she was gonna lay. She looked big, then she looked small, then she looked big. I was talking about her in the very last video. Sorry, I look crazy. It's late at night and I gotta be up at two o'clock in the morning. <sighs> of course, today's the day she would lay. I had a long, stressful day. Some exciting stuff happened, but I was still really stressed out. Just, ugh, whiplash. Exciting, not exciting, exciting, not exciting. Exciting, but I <laughs> gotta be up in six hours, so I ain't got time for this. Uh, Hera was, let's see, <clears throat> follow me over here. Okay, if you can read that, we had ovulation on 5'9, prelay on 5'25, and then another prelay shed. On 619. Guess what day it is? I don't know. I think it's 623. 623. Does that make sense? No, it does not make sense. Because 623 means she had her prelay four days ago. Four days! What the heck? Anyways. Alright. Hera. I think I said that right earlier. Hera. Uh, is a normal head albino female paired to uh, 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 butters, butters, sorry, paired to butters. And uh, I was sold butters as a candy inchy male. I can see the inchy, but I think he's candino. I have a candy. Uh, Facebook, Candy Ball Python and Facebook group that I'm in, and I'm pretty sure that he is a Candino. It sucks because I was really hoping it was pure candy. I paid for pure candy, which the guy I bought him from is cool, and I'm sure he'll take care of me if I prove him wrong. But at this point, she's sitting on a big pretty pile of white eggs. Ah! This doesn't make any sense. But anyways, if anybody knows or has experienced a prelay four days before egg laying, let me know, comment down below, or find me on Facebook and let me know. I'm curious as to how the heck this happens because it makes no sense from what I've been told and what I've learned and blah, 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 blah. It just doesn't make sense. But anyways, uh, my lovely assistant is here and she's gonna help me record fighting with this girl. Hopefully she doesn't put up too much of a fight and we'll get her picked up and get her eggs picked up and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, hang out. Okay. Recording? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's see what she does. Oh, I see at least three good eggs. So that's exciting. She looks like she's on a big pile. She does not look like she wants to share. Let's see if she'll play nice. Yeah, point her in my direction. That's a great idea. Hey, Hera. Oh, you did so good, sweetheart. Oh, man, this is the biggest clutch so far. I see at least six eggs. Okay. Oh, man, this is awesome. Focus on her. I see not, her. Whoa. And not dying. Oh, she can't kill me. She could hurt me if she wanted to. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, man. Well, if I had to take a surprise clutch, which it wasn't really a surprise, I was kind of expecting it. But she had to do it weird, just like everybody else. You know, first time around, I gotta get everything weird. Uh, let's see, she'll calm down. She's being pretty calm, actually. Liar. <laughs> I can't, well, she was, that wasn't aggressive. Let's 
Those are look sunken in like the others. Yeah, we'll check it. Okay. So weight is 1,288 grams, 1,288 grams. Uh, I'm actually going to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take her and just set her over here. Just a second. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to uh, check. Did you check her earlier when you got home or no? Uh, I've looked at her today. Is, she just laid these, okay. Uh, the clutch is six eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, 618 grams, that is 103 grams a piece. Uh, a piece. <clears throat> My voice cracked, awesome. Okay, and we're going to pull these apart and candle them, and we'll be hooking them up. But, let's see, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I'll do an update if there's anything weird about these, but at this point I gotta get this picked up and get to bed. So I'm gonna candle these. She's gonna get washed. She's gonna get put back. This is all gonna get scrubbed. Uh, probably just gonna put her in a new tub for tonight and then I'll set her back up in her tub tomorrow. Uh, and then these will go in the incubator, but it looks like we got six more good ones. That's uh, potentially Candinos, potentially Albinos, with Inchi mixed in with either of those. So pretty cool. And uh, that puts us up to, we lost one, so we're at 12. So this puts us at 18 eggs in the incubator for the season. And I think we're about two weeks away from cutting Lisa's two eggs. And hopefully both make it that far because one still looks look kind of iffy. But that's it, I'm tired. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night, peace.